try it with this section because there's like the least amount of grass, weeds, and dirt. See if I can skim through here, put in the truck, and then drive right across the street. There's another rock driveway over there and try to tailgate it on there. Yeah, it's what they asked me to try to do. I guess their neighbor or whatever came over and asked what they were going to do with all this. So there's like one, like the section where I'm sitting to the front of the truck, probably 40 feet. Doesn't really have a whole lot of ground. I mean, the edges do, but... Excuse me. The center and stuff like that doesn't. So I guess I'll see if I can... I don't know. I'm not very good at this with trying to keep it separated from the dirt so I'm gonna to try to just maybe skim down halfway and just load the truck with that. We'll just try to skim this little uh, top layer off I guess. It may not get a full truck load. But... I guess that wasn't too bad once it started coming out of the truck hopefully he's fine with it it's a lot bigger than what he's got on here and i don't know if i made the curve quite right but it's a little tricky in the big truck yeah i'll just get up here at the excavator it's pretty thick right there i don't want to take it down any further but i'll just kind of drag that down and then pull some of it back and maybe truck it down a little bit but hey i got him some rock over it's real thick right here so it's gonna need a little touch up with the excavator, but not too shabby. I'll kind of widen it up a little bit, but yeah, it's just a road or they can access it from that side of the property. So it's like not like a driveway to a house. All right, let's go back and load up some more of this.
stripped off. I think it was a total of 10 loads, nine and a half. I put half of it over there behind us on that road. But a fair amount of uh, clean rock. And you can see this is what the ground is underneath the grass and everything else over here. There's not a lot of dirt anyways. And then this was a pile of like three quarter inch clean, which I, I don't know what they had that over here for, but they just wanted me to try to scrape out everywhere and anywhere that there was rock. There's still, like I said, a little bit through here. Uh, we dried out good today, but there's a pretty good chance of rain tonight. So I don't know. I'd like to be able to try to get my dirt down in here. But I was going to bring the loader back and kind of touch it up a little bit and then probably bring in, I'd say four or five loads of dirt. I got, I know at least one on the other side of the water feature and down through there. It may just be four. It's not going to be real thick. I'm going to take it almost to the top of what's there right now. And then uh, have a friend of mine come and hide her seat so it'll all kind of blend in and match. But I bet it'll take every bit of four loads. So I was hoping to try to get run those down here and get them placed and then uh, spend a couple hours on the loader just trying to grade this thing back out but yeah that worked out pretty slick and i didn't tear up any more of the yard than what i needed to and got everything loaded up
We got the swell kind of dressed up. And they had two sprinkler leaks this morning. That, that one was broke up there, so that was just coming out of the side of the hill. And then down where they hooked onto this strip line, it actually started spewing or leaking here, but then it came out the side of the hill. So there's not much I can do with that. It's drying out, but it's still pretty muddy. Here's how the rest of this came out. I think it was five loads of dirt total. I hauled nine loads off with just the rock and the road and the junk left over here, but then the dirt didn't have to go back quite as thick. So that's part of it too. I had to be a little careful when you're uh, trying to run that preparator over the dirt as thin as it is. You can actually uh, take all the dirt off and bring the rocks back to the top. So there's a few of those that I had to kind of pick up, but. And then I just kind of hand rake that up along the edge with the uh, hill and the angles and such. But yeah, I think it came out pretty nice. Uh, the friend of mine's going to be here, I think Friday, to hydro seed all of this in Bermuda. He's going to touch up uh, those bare spots where I added a little bit of dirt on top of the lateral lines and then just spray everything around here. Yeah, they're extremely pleased with it. They'll be really happy. In a week or so when they get their grass on there and that bermuda it didn't take that hydro seed bermuda very long at all to start rooting in and taking off and some of this stuff will kind of come back up through the existing part of it too i'll try to get back here in a couple weeks and once that stuff takes off you really should never know there was a uh, construction drive or anything right here like i said i tried to kind of fill it in as best i could and meet up on both sides so it's not high or low uh, this stuff to me is almost trickier than doing like a new construction that's when you're working in existing because everywhere else in this yard uh, is pretty wavy so there wasn't a whole lot of flat smooth surfaces to work with i think this was all just pasture and stuff before and they just when they built these houses they kind of did the yards around the houses but they didn't get real carried away i mean i don't know if they did anything Maybe just started mowing it kind of what they're doing in that field and just let the Bermuda take over. But there's a lot of divots and low spots and rocks and stuff like that. But so that makes it a little tricky if you're trying to blend it back in to make it look like nothing was ever here. There's a lot of you just kind of got to go with the waves and all that. But that's part of it. And then I kind of had to work this end of it up here just because this is where I prepped everything out and then just shoveled up all the rocks and the chunks of grass and junk. So. It doesn't look as pretty as the uh, rest of it, but we'll get chained down and call it a night.